Welcome back to Wendy's Way. Thank you for joining us again on our journey in faith. Today we are following along in our gems from Grace and Glory series. Oh, this flies, I tell you. <laughs> gems from Grace and Glory. It's a daily devotional written by my friend Marilyn Lee. She wrote this series on Psalm 119 in May of 2019. And today we are focusing on verses 41 through 49. And she is taking it from the English Standard Version. Please follow along with me. Let your steadfast love come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have an answer for him who taunts me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your rules. I will keep your law continually, forever and ever. And I shall walk in a wide place, for I have sought your precepts. That will be interesting to find out what she says about that. <laughs> I will also speak of your testimonies before kings and shall not be put to shame. For I find my delight in your commandments, which I love. I will lift up my hands toward your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Marilyn's Devotional The two promises found in verse 41 are for things God loves us to trust him for. He wants to be our satisfaction. A parallel verse to the first part of verse 41 is Psalm 90, 14, which reads, Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. God loves for us to come to him with his word and ask him to fulfill it for us. He asks us in John 15, 7 to abide in him, and let his word abide in us. Then he says that as we study the scripture, we can ask him to make his word true in our lives. He wants us to read, meditate on, and study his word, seeking for promises we can claim from him. This is 2 Timothy 3.16. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Verse 42 tells us that when we pray for satisfaction and salvation, according to the promise of God, we have an answer against the enemy of our soul, who taunts us and seeks to get us to doubt the word of God. Let us, <coughs> I'm so sorry, <coughs> I'm a little tickle going on in there. Let us take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. As we wrap up this devotional, I would like to digress from Psalm 119 and turn your attention to Proverbs 2, 1 through 7. My son, if you receive my words and treasure up my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding, yes, if you call out for insight and raise your voice for understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. Yes, I would say that goes together very well. Mm -hmm. Ask the Lord to speak to you from his word for his good promises today. Ask him to give you a special word that you can carry with you all day long, claiming it for the satisfaction of your soul. 
perhaps one of the verses we have read in our scripture and devotional for today. I would love to hear from you which verse you have chosen for the day and how the Lord speaks to your heart. If you ever desire to communicate with Marilyn about her devotionals, um, she is on Facebook. Uh, I will not give out her email address unless she asks me to. But if you desire to get a hold of her, you may try Marilyn J. Lee on Facebook. She is the author of these devotionals, and she is a beautiful lady. I thank you for joining me again today. I hope that you'll join me again tomorrow. And I pray that the good Lord who blesses me beyond measure each and every day of my life will bless you as well, today and always. Amen.